welcome back to my channel if you are new then welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications that way you will be notified of future videos now, as you can tell from the title i will be doing a q and a today now i posted um on my stories on my ig and also on my community tab on youtube i wanted you all to give me some questions to ask about my business and you all came up with a lot of good questions and I have enough to where I can do this Q&A for you now. Now this may may or may not be a little bit of a lengthy video, but I'm gonna try to answer all of you all questions. But if I don't get to everyone's questions, I will be doing a part two to this Q&A. So without any further ado, let's just jump right on into the video. Now I record with my phone, so I do have my tablet here to where I'm gonna pull up the questions from here, from um, IG, as well as my YouTube community to app. Now, some of you all did have the same questions, so I'm going to answer all of these questions. Uh, so if I kind of skip over some or if I say, if I read a question that I already answered, I'll just be like, well, I already answered that. I mean, simple as that. <laughs> now, the first question that I do have is, what are your favorite videos to film? Um, which I don't have a certain favorite video I like to film because I love creating content for you all. I love vlogging, and that's why I said I'm going to try to do a lot of different vlogs in there, but being in the house there's not much to vlog right now i love my lip gloss videos um and i love my sit down videos like so i really don't have a certain one that i like to do because i like to do all of it and then especially like i'll say for instance my lip gloss video or even my vlogging sometimes um i'll be sitting here vlogging or doing recording a video and i'll be like this mess it's just it's messy it's all over the place but once i sit down and get to editing everything like all that's fun to me and you'll be surprised how the videos will end up turning out so as of right now i don't have a specific like favorite that i like to film okay the next question that i have well she said it's not a question i'm sorry but you're such an inspiration you're super real and don't fake first of all i just want to say thank you so much and um i love to be an inspiration to you guys as much information as i get and the things that i go through I like to share it with you all because sometimes if I go through mistakes and I, if I can prevent you all from going through it, then that's what I want to do. If I can find some deals on this or deals on that or ways to make things easier to get you all started on this or that, that's what I'm going to do. So like I said, once again, I really appreciate that and I love you. And I always just try to keep it real with y'all. Like I am 100% authentic, baby. <laughs> you don't get no realer than this. And pretty much what you see is what you get. Like, I'm not going to come on here and try to put a show on for you all just for on here. Like, I'm the same person I am on camera as I am off camera. Y'all follow me over on my um my personal IG. You will see that. You know, I do keep it a little bit more professional on here. But for the most part, y'all, I just, I'm real. On and off the camera, I'm the same person. Now, this next question was actually a really good question. It says, how much does each bottle cost to make? And how much do you sell them for? Now, at this point right now, I can't sit here and tell you how much each bottle costs. And I was actually talking to my manager about this about a month or one or two months ago. Um, I don't have a YouTube manager. This is actually my manager that I work. I still work a nine to five. I was speaking to her and basically I'm still in the process of trying to break down each individual cost. I don't really know exactly how much oil do I need or how much base do I need for just one lip gloss? And that's something that I really want to work on if I want to go a little bit further than what I'm doing. Because as like I said right now, I don't measure anything. I eyeball everything. I make one big batch. But that's something that I am going to start doing to try to break that down. And that's how you will actually see your profit as well. So if anybody that's out here watching this, if you know exactly how many ounces of base you need, how much oil you need to make one lip gloss, why don't y'all comment down below and we can get a com uh, conversation started on with that. But once I do figure that out on my end, I will come back and address that, whether if it's in a video or I'll contact you directly. Okay, the next question is, do you have an LLC? Yes, I have an LLC. My business is Just Royalty Cosmetics, L Cosmetics LLC, and I do have an EIN number. I went and registered all of that. When I started my business, I was probably in business for like, three to four weeks before I actually registered. Okay, next question I have is, when did you start your business and why? I started my business, I think the end of September of 2019, 
and I was going across YouTube one day because y'all I'm I was always really big on YouTube but I was more into watching the natural hair videos but I came across as you all may know bougie Barbie she's one of my inspirations um so it was her mocha princess and also um rbj those i think that's it they right those are the three inspirations that got me to start in my business and like i said i was just going across youtube one day and the video just popped up and i was like okay that's that's interesting it seemed real interesting and um i'm very very talented y'all when i put my mind to something that i'm gonna do it so after bench watching all three of their videos like several of their videos i decided to go ahead and order some gloves i ordered one little five ounce bag and i ordered a thing of tubes and from there on out here i am today okay and the next question is how you got started that's pretty much i explained it in the last question okay now moving on to the next question it says what's your favorite part about owning your own business now what i can say about this this is a really good question is you get to do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it you can price things whatever you want to like it's basically everything is you you are your own boss you are in charge of this you are in charge of that you don't have nobody over your shoulder telling you to do this or telling you to do that to get this done like that is the lovely part about it y'all and though i do like i said i still work but at the same time this business right here this is this is actually been doing really well even though i still do work and i have a boss but i don't have like a micromanage she don't micromanage or whatever i don't have anyone down my shoulder telling me to do this and telling me to do that but at the same time it's like when you have your own business like you make those calls you want to go out and do this you can do it whenever you can take a vacation whenever you want to you can just leave and go as you please like it's amazing and stepping into this entrepreneurship y'all i ain't gonna even lie like i am truly loving this but I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to quit my job as of right now because your girl, your girl going to use all these coins as of right now. Uh, I'm trying to get to a certain place before I try to do all that. So all these strands of income, I'm going to continue to have them because as of right now, I have four strands of income. Okay, and the next question is, where do you get the lip gloss tools from? Now, you can get your lip gloss tools from anywhere. You can get your lip gloss tools from Amazon. You can get your tools from TKB Trading, um, Alibaba. Um, only thing about Alibaba and stuff, you have to buy in bulk, which will actually be way cheaper. AliExpress, Etsy. Y'all, there are so many places that you can get lip gloss tools. I mean, just search it, and I mean, it, it'll come right up for you. Like, it's simple as that. And when people ask me, where did you get this from, where did you get that from, y'all if y'all just type lip gloss tools empty lip gloss tools in a google search you will be surprised what comes up like there is so much out there y'all you just gotta do the research okay now the next question i have is how do you create a new and healthy formula um i'm not really sure but i mean it's just a lot of trial and error <laughs> um because like I said, I done went through so many different formulas when I first started from making my gloss. And I literally just decided on the one that I have now, like, probably two months ago. Um, so it, it's a lot of trial and error. You will go through a lot. Um, you go you go through a lot of oils. You will go through a lot of base. Um, it's, it's a lot. It takes time to try to get what you want right you know what i'm saying so don't rush the process y'all take your time and make sure everything is right to how you like it and like i said i had bought i probably went through like four or five four or five of the five ounce bags um you know at the time when i started they were like five dollars and you know all this wasn't going on so but yeah it's just a lot of trial and error and with the lip gloss tubes, I, I went and purchased lip gloss tubes from everywhere. And as of right now, I have a huge blowout sale that I'm doing right now until I literally sell every last one of my tubes that I have left because I have new tubes that I'm trying to come um come out with, which I'm not gonna pretty much I'm not gonna come out with those and show you guys until I'm done with the um tubes that I have now. But like I said, if you're going to invest in your business, if you want your business right, you're going to invest in it so i went through so many different tubes but you just have to and that's something that you have to do in order to get the ones that you like next question i already answered which was how did you start this business and what inspired you and moving on 
What made you want to start? I pretty much answered that already. Um, what is the best oil to use for lip gloss? And y'all, y'all gotta excuse my little naked mannequin back there, y'all. Um, she has some clothes on for the winter time, but I end up wearing it. So now I have to find a cute little spring outfit for her. So y'all just disregard all that. But yeah, the best oil to use, I can't sit here and tell you what's the best oil to use because you have to come up with that for yourself. And that goes back with doing your own research and, and doing, you know, it's a lot of trial and error because there are a lot of good oils out here and all of these oils have really good benefits. You have your coconut oil, you have your almond oil, you have your argan oil, vitamin E oil. Like you have so many different oils that you can choose from. And like I said, you just pretty much have to test each one and see how you like it. How the consistency, how it feels on your lips, if it's too oily or this or that. Like you have to read into these carrier oils and you have to read into each oil to see what benefits what and what works well with this. That's why I say a lot of this is a lot of trial and error and it's also a lot of research. But like a lot of different, like I started out using several different oils. But I kind of just narrowed it down to just two oils. I use coconut oil and vitamin E oil. As you all can see, that is on my website. Um, but I can say with coconut oil, and I list that you have some people that have, you know, that are allergic to coconut, which it'll kind of narrow your, you know, your customers, your clientele down using coconut oil. But I mean, for the most part, that's that's what I use. That's my main ingredient, um, which is listed on the website. So if anybody is allergic to coconut oil and they would like to try my glosses, just email me or DM me and let me know that you want to try my gloss and if I can make it without the coconut oil because I can do that. Y'all, I'm trying to fluff my hair out. Let me know if y'all want to see a natural hair video. Moving on. This is not a question. She just said she loves my page and thank you so much. Um, next question is, how did you find starting a business with small children? I have three and launching next month. Um, for those who didn't know, yes, I do have three children and my youngest is two years old. Um, and to me, I don't, I don't have an issue with that, y'all. I have a lot of support and for the most part, y'all, she don't bother me. Um, she be doing her own thing, playing with her sisters, and um, and it's actually something that I want to start, and maybe I can pass my business down to one of them one day. And that's the whole plan is to get it up and running, jumpstart for them, for them to kind of take over one day. So it is very much so possible starting a business with young children or just children. Period. Um, uh, I know I have a lot of young viewers out there as well as older viewers um so it is possible that you can do it you just have to have patience have time and patience because like i said you cannot rush this process it's going to take time but like i said it is possible and i have no issue with my business i've never had a um issue with it with my children or trying to bother me or this and that only issue i can say is when i'm trying to record she be trying to pop up all into my videos. <laughs> all right. And next question is, do you mind talking about how to claim your name through the LLC? Um, well, I said I was going to do a video on this about a while ago, but y'all, I am not a professional and I just don't want to just give y'all information. You got people out here that ain't it. It just be running their mouth for no reason. But I went through, I stay in the state of Missouri, so I just went to um, Missouri.gov. And basically, once you go on there, I guess the, the state of whatever you're in, .gov, and um, it basically will walk you through there. You put your name into the system. It, you, you know, you search, of course, and it's going to let you know if someone has your name or not. Nobody claimed it. Go ahead and go through with the process. And then I went through, I think, IRS.gov to give me an EIN number. It's real simple. Um, it's y'all don't make it seem too harder than what it really is, but it's just real simple. But all you have to do is just type that stuff in your search. All you have to do is type in how to apply for an EIN number, how to register a fictitious name or for a, a business or whatever the case may be. But, um, I can probably get into 
a little bit of the business part if you all want me to but i'm not gonna jump all dive all the way into it because i said i am not a professional um like i said i do work in banking so i know a little bit about the business um structures and what's needed and everything so if you all want that i will do a video just comment down below but for the most part that's all you do and it says also can you talk about the prices of products and how much you should charge etc um i have a video talking about this already um basically i can't sit here and tell you what to charge on your on your products because i don't know exactly what you put into your products because you have to charge for your time you have to charge for the oils that you're putting in there maybe your labels you're doing and it doesn't necessarily mean lip gloss if you're selling bundles if you're selling lashes like you the cases that you put your lashes in the little bags that you put your bundles in if you're tying your bundles up with this or that like you have to account for all of that like i said and plus your time when you're pricing your stuff like all of that goes into it but um just go back and watch that video because i i talked more about it in that video but that's pretty much i can't you nobody can sit here and tell you what to charge for your product it's all up to you because only you know like i said what you're putting into it next question i have is she said how to go about shipping packages and how to package in general um i have a video on how to ship packages without a website and as far as just how to go about packaging your stuff i have a video on how i package my stuff but actually i will do a whole entire updated video on how i do my shipments and also how i package but um basically i go through my i go through my website when i ship everything so if you don't have a website you can still do things a little bit different and from when i had did my video back then you can actually put everything into the computer and print out a packing label if you do not have a website so i will do a video for that if you want that just comment down below and i'll show you how to do all of those updates but yeah next question is she said i love your glosses thank you girl other one says hi jess royalty cosmetics hey girl hey um will you ever pass your business down to your daughter if you have one yes uh i just discussed that and um and my other question and yes that's the plan is to pass my business down to one of my daughters and what did you start your why did you start your business by the way i love your youtube channel well thank you um and i already discussed how i why i started my business all right those were all the questions that i had on ig now i am going to start answering the questions over from my youtube community tab um i hope y'all still here with me hold on i got a whole different view i had to take my phone down to get the questions y'all here we go that how it was it started shaking um so and y'all came through with these questions on youtube now i see y'all um question is how long you have been doing your business and how long did it take for you to start seeing sales um i have been doing my business since the end of september so we got october november december january march april Ooh, almost seven months oh i didn't even realize it was that long so yeah, almost seven months I have been doing my business and when I see, I feel like I was the exact opposite, but I can't speak for everybody. When I first started my business, um, locally, I was doing numbers. I was doing numbers locally, um, but as far as like on YouTube, I mean, not on YouTube, well, I had my channel or whatever and then on Instagram, I really wasn't getting any sales, but locally, y'all, them sales were coming in, and it was just basically word of mouth so when y'all start your business that's that's what y'all gotta do word of mouth so like i said so when i started it didn't take me long at all it took me probably because once i started and getting um getting my glosses made and everything and i started out with my lip care packages y'all um those were doing numbers my sister she worked um she was she was getting them out for me like she brought me home like three hundred dollars within like the first couple of weeks of me lounging my business y'all so i was i was doing numbers with them lip care packages still is to this day i was doing numbers and then i had like a little who everything was going so slow y'all i'll say from 
from December. So for, I'll say for almost two months, uh, for almost two months. And it was crazy because it was during Christmas time, Black Friday and all that time. I was really slow. Like I was getting sales here and there, but it really wasn't no sales coming in. I was really slow. I had my numbers sales didn't start jumping up there until like recently y'all like the end of january february who like i said y'all been coming through with these questions on youtube i love y'all i love y'all what is the main way you find get customers and how has it been how has it been keeping me gaining customers and have you ever considered getting into making any other products as well as lip gloss lipsticks or soaps well first question is word of mouth word of mouth y'all like i continue to gain my my customers like my client base word of mouth like locally y'all y'all gotta get out here and do it when i was going to restaurants um i go to this one particular restaurant all the time um very known there and i would basically just word of mouth tell them you know i i, I make lip gloss hand them a business card and of course i'm a walking advertisement myself and that's basically what I was doing, y'all. I was going, I was doing all that. I used to leave my business cards everywhere. And that's how you constantly gain your customers. And have you ever considered getting into making any other products? Well, as some of you all may know, if you all been riding along with me for some time now, I was supposed to come out with a self-care package the beginning of the year, but that didn't kind of turn out too right. Um... It didn't turn out too right um because i mean as of right now i make body butters and i make um my body bombs now my body bombs and my body butters those are something that i do currently make right now but they are not for sale um as of right now i'm just mainly trying to focus on one thing at a time because like i said i was steady coming out with so many products i couldn't keep up with it and it was costing me so much so i had to pull back some of those products but as far as in the near future, I may start doing a lot more things. A lot more skincare products, I should say. But stay tuned for that. Next question is, how did I start? How did you start making your YouTube grow? Um, I started my YouTube channel basically the same time I started my business. The end of September, early October. I, did it at the end of September, but I didn't post my first video until like the second week of October. And y'all, I did not expect to grow this fast. All I have to say is to be consistent. I know you all hear that over and over and over, but if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, I will actually make a whole video on about that, y'all, because I literally started, like I said, posting my first video October. Here we are in April. And I'm trying to get to my 10K, y'all. So help your girl out. Like, I grew so fast. I literally just got monetized in January. I remember the day. It was January 11th. I got monetized. And here it is, the beginning of April. And I'm near my 10K. And all I can say is be consistent. Give the people what they want. Um give them what they want that's all i can say and i had and as you continue to make content and you if you think about it people come to youtube for help they come for advice to try to see how to do this or how to do that so it's more of a it's a tool to help people so if your channel is about helping people whether it's helping them do this helping them make this helping them make that helping them showing them how to do hair like it, there are so many different niches on youtube but all i can say is just be consistent and do not give up i don't care how many views you get you can get less than 100 views you can get 50 views 20 views but you have views and the thing about that y'all your video is going to be out there your video is going to be out there and i had this one particular video right here that is basically the video that blew me up y'all like literally from january to april so january very march so in three months I jumped to I jumped to over 7,000 subscribers. Okay, next question I have is kind of the same question as before. Are you thinking about expanding and what about getting into bath bombs or soaps? Um, like I said, yes, I do expect to start expanding probably around. Well, I only want to give y'all a time because if I don't do it, 
then I don't want y'all to be expecting this and expecting that. So I'm not going to give you a time on what I plan on expanding, but just know that I do plan on coming out with some skincare products and also hair products. And as far as making bath bombs and soaps, no, I do not plan on getting into that. I have no type of, no. <laughs> For one, I don't use bath bombs. Um, your girl is very sensitive, very sensitive. I don't use nothing but water. Pure water. That's all I use in my tub. A little Epsom salt every now and then, but yeah, I don't plan on doing any of those products. And one thing that I do not believe in is selling products that I do not use myself. That is something that I will not do. Next question. Let me try to get through these questions, y'all. I hope y'all still here. Drop your girl a purple heart if y'all still here with me. Drop me a purple heart. Y'all are my true soldiers, my supporters out there, y'all. But the question is, have you ever thought about making any other face body products like soaps or even makeup like mascara or eyeshadows? I answered that question already, which I do plan on getting to the skincare products. Mascara, eyeshadows, no. Um, how do you advertise? I advertise through everything. Everything advertisement. And I may just do a whole video on that, y'all, because it is so much into advertising. Like I said, when I go out to eat, I see, I see people, um, I see girls or whatever. Hey, you, I see you wear lip gloss. Here's my card. I make lip gloss. And of course I got them on my, I have it on my lips. I'll, um, show them my Instagram or, you know, they have my business card. They can look me up later. Um, your girl will go through the drive through line in McDonald's somewhere. I see, and I see a lot of young girls all the time. They lips just be popping. So, yeah, and I'm not shy at all, y'all. I am not shy. Well, I ain't gonna say I'm not shy because I really am shy. But when it comes to advertising, y'all, I see somebody, like I said, they have lip gloss on, their lips is popping. And I, I've done this all the time. I say, hey, I say, I see you like lip gloss, and it's a clear gloss. I say, well, um, here's my car. I make lip gloss, and all of my products are natural, and it's handmade by me. So just check me out whenever you get time. And that's pretty much how I do my advertisement. Um, word of mouth, and like I said, that's locally. And then as far as online, here it is. I have my YouTube channel, and I also have my Instagram. Now, you just have to continue to advertise your product. Regardless if somebody's liking this or liking that or if you have this many followers versus this person because let me tell y'all something Followers don't mean anything follow like I said when I first started my business I had less than 20 subscribe I mean 20 followers and your girl was getting money out here your girl was getting her coins So don't look into all of that following stuff because sometimes people pay for followers I mean, don't don't look into all that because I've had someone inbox me saying, oh, if you give me $100, I'll give you this many subscribers. Nah, baby. <laughs> all my stuff is authentic. I build my business from the ground up. I'm doing all this on my own. I don't need you to do that for me. Okay, y'all. And my last question is, which is better, Big Cartel or Shopify for someone starting out? I do not know anything about Shopify. I don't know anything about Wix. I don't know anything about all these other websites that people has been going through. Me personally, I go through Big Cartel. And I'll say, like I said, I don't know what any other website was about or is about. Because, like I said, I go through Big Cartel. And Big Cartel, they have, they just recently changed. With everything that's going on now, they just recently changed a lot of their, um... Their policies and everything. Menu buttons, one of eight, 50 items. Yeah, my TV just be talking. I don't know how to shut it up. Um, that made me lose my train of thought. But yeah, Big Cartel, like I said, they just recently changed their policy and everything because of everything that's going on. And that's why I love them. They kind of look out for, you know, they people or whatever. But with Big Cartel, if you have less than five products, it's free. You do not have to pay a monthly fee or anything. And the next one up, for, up from that is $9.99 a month, which is the one that I have, which is 25 products or less. Like I said, they just recently changed, and now it's 50 products or less for $9.99 a month. And then so far, it just goes on and on and up from there, depending on how many products. So if you're just starting out, like me personally, you're trying to get the feel of things, I will go with the one that's free. And that's, like I said, I don't know what other any other website is offering, but always try to go through something free and go through like a little trial period before you all try to jump into it just to see if this is something that you really want to do. You don't want to commit to something that 
you're not going to want to do or you don't like. All right, that is all that I have for you all today. I hope you all made it through the entire video and I hope I got all of your questions answered. So if you all just want to comment down below, let me know what y'all think about everything. I have a few videos coming out on how I ship products, um, well, how I ship everything, how I'm going to do my updated packaging, and also how I advertise. I have a lot of different content coming out because... I ain't got nothing but time on my hands. I mean, we all ain't got nothing but time on my hands. We can't go nowhere. But yeah, um, if you like this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Bye.